U.S. Secretary of Defense James Mattis on Tuesday played down recent mixed messages between President Donald Trump and Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, saying the president wanted a diplomatic solution to North Korea's nuclear and missile program. Speaking at a Senate hearing in Washington, D.C., the Secretary of Defense attempted to clarify remarks from Trump, who on Sunday claimed that Tillerson was wasting his time attempting to negotiate with North Korea. President Trump's guidance to both Secretary Tillerson and me has been very clearly that we would pursue the diplomatic effort to include with the various initiatives with China, Mattis said I believe that Secretary Tillerson is accurately stating that we are probing for opportunities to talk with the North. All we are doing is probing. We're not talking with them. Many observers saw the president's comments as a rebuke to Tillerson who during a state visit to China over the weekend said Washington had direct channels of communication with North Korea and signaled a possible interest in dialogue. I believe that Secretary Tillerson's remarks about probing North Korea to see if they are ready to talk was what the president was referring to, not the diplomatic effort writ large, Mattis continued. During the hearing, Senator Jack Reed also asked Mattis whether some communication was necessary to reduce risks or miscalculations that could lead to open conflict. The Secretary of Defense replied by saying that Tillerson's visit to Beijing was one way Washington was exploring an integrated effort to change the DPRK's course. But after Tillerson's remarks on Saturday, the U.S. State Department also clarified that Pyongyang had shown little interest in negotiations with Washington. U.S. diplomats have several open channels in which we can communicate with officials within the North Korean regime, State Department spokesperson Heather Nauert said on Saturday. North Korean officials have shown no indication that they are interested in or are ready for talks regarding denuclearization, she added. The White House followed up on Monday saying the time was not right to talk to North Korea and that any conversations between the two sides concern the three U.S. citizens currently being held in the DPRK. Edited by Oliver Hotham.